Photoshop CS4 makes it much easier to apply adjustments to specific areas of your image. So for example, if you just wanted to darken the sky or lighten a foreground element, it makes it really easy. And so I'm going to show you here how we can apply some changes specifically to, in this case, a sky in an image while producing a very realistic and believable result. So I'm going to start off by creating a selection of the sky so that I can apply an adjustment that will only affect the sky in the image. I'll use the magic wand tool for this since my sky is relatively uniform in terms of tone and color. And I'll just click and then shift click on a few areas of the sky until it is selected in its entirety. With an active selection for the sky, now I can add an adjustment layer. So in Photoshop CS4, I'm going to go to the adjustments panel and add a curves adjustment. And then I'll just apply a darkening effect, just sort of arbitrarily so that we can see an obvious change in the image. Now one of the things that's really important to keep in mind is that when we create a selection, by default it's not feathered, which means it has a relatively harsh edge to it. If I zoom in on the windmill here, you can see that there's a relatively harsh transition between the windmill and the sky because the darkening effect is so strong and the selection was not feathered. I can fix that very easily with Photoshop CS4 thanks to the new masks panel. I'll simply increase the feather amount here, and as you can see, the edge, the transition between the area I adjusted, in this case darkening up the sky, and the area that wasn't adjusted is now nice and smooth, creating a more believable final result. I can then continue refining my adjustment until I'm happy with it.